Sometimes we just move junk from one place to the next. <laughs> and so then you guys can start putting food at least on these two. And then we'll organize it. Okay? Thanks, guys. Copy. Um, I think that we have a leak downstairs in the cookhouse. Okay, uh, Charlotte, I'll be over there in a minute. Over there. Well, in. that's not good. Nope. Where is that coming from? Coming from there. A lot of water. You can hear the leak back there. Can you see it? Yeah, I can see there's water running down. Keep shining that light at me. I'm gonna crawl back here. Oh boy. Yeah, that's not good. That is really leaking out of there. All right, let me back out. Can I take my phone? Sure. It's not in the easiest spot to get to. <laughs> you know what? Every year we have water leak somewhere. Just when we turn off the system and turn it back on, it's just what seems to happen. Fox tracks in the ground. I wonder if they've been chewing on it. Okay, so I'm just gonna cut this out. Uh, luckily, it's this one's a pretty easy fix. Slide my pex ring on this side. Piece in there. Slide my pick string on this side. Slide it in. These guys placed where I want them. And crimp. And the next. Just back on. I think I'll leave it so I can check to see if it leaks. Hey, uh, TV, it looks like we have a leak over by the uh, hunter clock faucet. So, what you're going to have to do um, unscrew this whole unit. Uh -huh. okay. So see if we may just have this section yeah. or just get another piece of PEX and, yeah. and attach it. So turn this off? Yep. Yeah. You excited, Dawson? I'm taking the big one. You want the big one? 
So if you guys could get the uh, lawn finished today, we be back in a moment. And then it's a hot day, so let's uh, run the fire hose uh, onto the crowd and get that all watered down again. Last year it took the guys three weeks to get the um, lawn done, so let's see if you guys can beat that back right now. That's yeah, on day three. Maybe, <laughs> because you pulled us off. Yeah. The other ones are pesky for this one because it's blocking the sunlight. So these ones need to be out of here. Look at that. Look at that mosquito. Yeah. Got one. Mosquito. Why are we turning on the water pump? Well, we're trying to irrigate the horse corral to get some uh, long grass to grow in there. The yeah, we're going to connect this up to the corral and then we're going to reduce it down to garden hoses and we'll see if there's enough pressure all the way up the hill to water the corral. Oh. It's working, bud. We have four sprinklers going at once. You know what's interesting? The original cabin this replaced was built in the very early 1950s and it rotted too much. And when you guys tore it down last summer, these boards are from the roof and the floor. And I ran them through the table saw and you cut them at a 45 degree angle. And so these are original boards that were in the original cabin. That's kind of a nice way of preserving history, huh? Dawson, go down your ladder and get me that insulation. Okay. Okay? Okay. Yep, that one right there. Yep, yep, that's good. Maybe the other one too. All right. I suppose if the old guy fell off the ladder, that would make more of a reality show, huh? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Okay, so let's talk about our book training camp by John Gordon. How are you guys liking the book so far? It's good. It's yeah? Good. I like it. Look at all the notes Michelle took. Good job, Michelle. Thanks. How Lots of good you? nuggets of truth in there. I'm learning by osmosis. <laughs> <laughs> Sleep osmosis. All right, tell me what's going on in the book. He didn't get paid much, but he loved it, so he did it anyway. And then he became a really good coach. And I thought that was cool. Do what you want, even if it's not like good right right at first. 
follow your dreams. Okay, so here's a little hint. He's going to discuss 11 things that the best do better than everyone else. I thought we why they're Why they're the best. They okay. don't just, yeah, most people are just embarrassed that they have potential. A lot of times they just don't want to continue to use it yeah. for good. Well, and that's, that's why the first thing is the best know what they want. Mm -hmm. And you don't let those naysayers or people that are jealous or you don't let them drag you down. You know what you want and you go get it. Tunnel vision to your goal. Yeah. Yep. I think Travis has reached his potential and he surpassed it. I think he's already exceeded his potential. He's better than we could ever expect him. He's shaved. <laughs> I mean, look at it now. <laughs> Have you peaked, Travis? <laughs> well, I won't grow any more height, but I'm going to try not to grow any more weight also. That's good. What about other areas of your life? I think she's on her uh, uh, Well, that's all I got for now. Talk to me in 10 years. <laughs> Here's one thing that I that I found was really interesting is if you are not trying to be the best, trying to be your best, then you're being selfish. Mm -hmm. Because God put inside you a certain potential and if you're not trying to realize and become and live up to that potential, then you're wasting what you're meant to do. You're wasting your talent and what you could do and that's hurting the world and our community. Because we need more people that are living up to their potential and doing their best to get out there and make things better and help people. Well, it's Sunday fun day and I'm gonna take the crew for a little horseback ride. And I still owe Carly a horseback ride for her birthday from the other day. Over, I'm gonna show you how to saddle. I don't expect you guys to get this all down in the first time, um, but when we have guests and stuff coming, there's things you can do to help even if you don't know how to fully saddle. What is, what is that? It's a curry comb. Oh. So you're going to just kind of brush with the, the grain of their hair, the direction their hair is going. Get your blankets kind of lined up like this. You want them all nice and square. And you always want the bottom blanket a little more forward. Hey, um, Travis? Just gonna throw your blankets on like that. Some horses may be more jumpy, so you don't want to flap things or throw it up in the air or real fast movements. Here should be aligned with about the middle of their shoulder. Okay, and you want to make sure they're all straight. Next thing is the saddles. The important thing with the saddles is make sure everything's clear in here. Okay. This is the part going on their body, so you want to feel it. Make sure there's no sticks sticking out or nails sticking out. I'm going to throw all these straps up over the saddle like this. Then you can lift it up and gently place it on them. These horses have not had saddles on them or people for like eight months. Okay, so they're all semi-wild right now. So I'm going to push up on this saddle with one hand and I'm going to push up the blankets with the other hand. And now you guys see how there's a nice arch in there? That's gonna protect their withers a lot better. This is your cinch strap. You gotta make sure nothing else is underneath that. You want it about four fingers back from their armpit. It's a little deceiving right now because he's got this leg forward. Have you guys all tied ties before? All the time. <laughs> Travis, clip-ons? Yeah. yeah, okay. Uh, <laughs> You're gonna go down through the top. This is called the D-ring, typically. This one's a O circle, but. And you're gonna go, go mama. follow it through. So now, now you got it wrapped twice in here, okay? Then you're gonna go through the top and come out the left side, go around the front, come up under the right side to make a loop like that. And then you're gonna come down through that loop, okay? In the first, Initially when you put it on You want to do it just so it's a little bit snug. Okay, you don't want it very tight And then you're gonna kind of tighten up your knot like that for now Then you're gonna just let him kind of sit there and work it out while he's eating and moving around um, And that's gonna get this cinch in a good natural place for him 
Okay? So, any questions? Almost done, Travis? Yep. Just about. <sighs> What's this? Get behind him, Travis. Alright, he's my buddy. I've, I've dealt with him before. Glad we're getting this horseback ride in because Carly's birthday was like six days ago. I know. We're it's supposed to take her for a ride for her birthday. Oops. Well, we kind of had some drop ins on her birthday slash plumbers and plumbing issues yeah. that we had to get resolved. But I know. A lot of water issues. So many but this year. <laughs> I gotta get this off my list so I'm not on her list. Right? Know. Yeah. <laughs> we're getting there. We're getting there. Yep. It'll be a fun ride. Yeah, I'm excited. Think First. we're gonna go down to the burn site? Yeah. Go down and check out the wildfire burn site. Okay, yeah, that'll be cool. So first you gotta figure out which way it goes, okay? See the this bit here, this metal bar? Where the bar is, there's a long end and a short end. The long end goes towards the front, the short end goes towards the rider. Okay? You're gonna reach up under his mouth and put your hand in his mouth. Uh, behind his front teeth, he doesn't have any teeth. So you can grab him in the gums and pull his mouth down a little bit. There you go. Their ears are fragile, so you gotta be real gentle with them. Gently fold them forward one at a time. You gotta keep a little bit of pressure on the reins so it doesn't fall out of his mouth. And these guys haven't been touched like this for eight months, so some of them may be a little ornery. <laughs> Any questions? Uh -oh. All right. This will be the fun time. Mom. Is this Charlotte? Yeah. Hey. Hey. You're stepping on it, Charlotte. Yeah. Good girl. Hey. Oh, this part is kind of useless. We can just take this part out. Michelle, have you ever done this? Do it. Uh, no. Well, not really. It's always a pain to put her halter on. Oh, great. Yeah. She was this hunting season, at least. You got it, girl. Oh, look at that. Just like a pro. You wanted to ride Squeaky, right? Uh, I wouldn't say I wanted to ride her, but... Uh, She's a wild Mustang. You, you said know. you wanted someone that's going to give you a run for your money. You picked her, Jainer. Well, I, I picked someone else. Alright, these horses haven't been ridden in like eight months, so I'm going to get on each of them first. Get any bucks out of them they may have. Most of them should be good. Mindy's always good. time you rode four years ago okay, okay. all right what you got cowboy just make sure the toe just the toe you puts in there loosen up on the reins Shaner, get out of there yeah. oh come on i usually ride her she's a good girl she just has spirit spirit is a word for it in the shake a U.S. Mustang. She was born in the wild. Well, she certainly looks wild. Still got a little bit of that in her. I'm gonna have a heck of a time riding it. Are you nervous? Yeah. This uh, this marking is uh, what they freeze branded in her when they caught her in the wild. It says U.S. and then these symbols is, uh, will tell you the date and place where they caught her in the wild. Go for it. Yep. Hold the reins. Good, just the balls of your feet in. Stand up. Okay. You can take over to the grass. Get away from the kids. Yeah, hang on to that saddle horn right there, okay? Mo's gonna be a little crazy, Mom. Mo's gonna be a little crazy? Put the horn on. Alright, hold on tight. Mm -hmm. Okay, you too. You too. Mm -hmm. I'm trying Mo's first poo. Oh, 
Oh yeah? Talk more horse food? Yeah. I mean keep horse poop eight. There's the wildfire burn. Steer him around that, love. Oh, 58 acres burn. How long did it burn? Yeah. It was still smoldering for a while after. The dangerous thing is, is that it could smolder underground all winter and reignite anywhere in here. We got some fresh green already popping up in here. All of a sudden it's burnt on one side and green on the other. Dawson did so good. Rode good job, by bud. Himself. Five. First time riding by yourself. My legs need to be stretched. You walking like a cowboy? Your legs all spread out? Yeah. <laughs> all right, guys, let's get all the saddles off. Everybody. <laughs> oh. Roadblock. Hey Savannah, who did you ride? Daddy's horse. Daddy's horse? What's daddy's horse name? Apache. Apache. Good job. Did he eat in the mud? No. It's not raining. It does. Sunday fun day means the boys cook dinner now. Which is so awesome, but kind of nerve-wracking and scary. Yes. Hey Travis, what are you making? Uh, a mess. <laughs> Working on the sauce here. Always good to have some onions. You cut the garlic so fine it would melt into the marinara. It's a holy potato. It's been blessed by a rabbi. I just stick it over here when it's done. So it's, a, it's kosher. A real chef doesn't really have to measure things. They just throw it in. Yeah, I've heard that think, before. So Except what, Stevie. You know your the name is not Emerald Agassi. So you <laughs> can take a picture of this and a bam of that. Okay. Bam! Kick it up a notch. Watch and the, then you put some paprika in there. And watch, then you throw some of this in there. Watch bam! Swedish meatballs, mashed potatoes, and roasted broccoli. I can smash potatoes, I can do the splits. Tell me you can't do the splits, Travis. Do you like it like this? I would love to see you try to do the splits. Uh, no. Garlic <laughs> and oregano. Garlic and oregano? Oregano. Oregano. Dad. Gosh dang it. Why, just cut myself in. Alright, then. Cut yourself with a potato peeler? It's possible, but I don't think it is. <laughs> I just raised myself. Not really sure what I'm doing here, but it's kind of fun. Travis, put that back down. This is there's a strainer inside, so the second time oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. you slowly pull it up. Okay, then you can kind of just tilt it sideways and you can just hang out there. Like this. Okay. Oh! Ha 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 
Dawson, I would watch out if I were you. Potatoes, sweaty meatballs, and broccoli. It's Swedish meatballs, not sweaty meatballs. <laughs> okay, so when you put something in the oven, you don't you don't just put it on one side, Travis. You need to go like this. Ooh. Okay. Did you put olive oil in here? Good to know. We're big and we take care of it. Steve kind of dropped the ball on this dinner, right? Yeah. It's your night. Yeah, it's a different night. Yeah. Maybe I'll help him on yeah. his night. <laughs> oh no. Oh, my legs started hurting. Do you think you have the coronavirus? <laughs> Could be. I think it's a pinched nerve. Oh my gosh, you're so dramatic. Some tight tendons, stretching. It's nothing with my muscles. Right, tendons. Well, who's tougher? Me. Who's <laughs> tougher? Me. Dawson's definitely the toughest. It's supposed to be uncomfortable. Oh, it's definitely uncomfortable. Okay, babe. babe, you don't even know if you're doing the right thing. Yes, I am. You don't even know what's wrong with it yet. Yes, I do. It's like 10 days. You got raisins? That's good. I have heard things in my body all the time. And I roll uh, on. Oh, babe. <laughs> okay, okay. You can just dig it into my leg. Yeah. Babe, your partner is ruining uh, dinner. I was, I was trying to... Bail on him, it's just happened. Babe, you're so <coughs> woman up. Are they almost done? Maybe. I need two hands on it. I have some Swedish sweaty meatballs for you, some broccoli surprise, and the mashed potatoes from from uh, Chubby Checker. It's good. Meatballs a little salty. Yeah. <laughs> A little bit. She was uh, having a 